Hi, Ben here, Amateur Radio Callsign M7FRS, and I thought while I've got the opportunity, I'd do a quick side by side comparison of both these Watson or Ocean KG UV950P and the KG UV980PL models. So a friend of mine has asked me to program his KG UV 950P up for him. It's brand new out of the box, but it's not a uh, new radio by any means. I say it's uh, perhaps new old stock, but they've been around for about 10 or so years now, the uh, 950P. Um, there is a, a PL version, and uh, the difference between the P and the PL is the uh, 950P will do 10 metres, 6 metres, 2 metres and 70 sems, whereas the PL doesn't have 10 metres but it does have the 4 metre band. So if you look at the radio on the right there, that's my uh, KG UV980 PL, although on the uh, actual screen it only says P, underneath on the label it will say PL, but um, that's a PL version. So both of these were available in P versions or PL versions. So uh, I'll say the P has got 10 metres and the PL has got 4 metres, but neither will do uh, Neither will do both. Apparently there was a version, a US version, which did the 220 megahertz band for uh, for those of you in the US, which I think is the 1.5 meter band, isn't it? And uh, that didn't have the 440. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's obviously, obviously a few different uh, versions of these uh, on the market. So if we look at the UV950, uh, that's like I say, the slightly older model, they've been around about 10 or so years, and the UV980 has been around perhaps four or five years now, and this is my own one, so I've had this one um, about three years, I think, maybe four years, um, but uh, yeah, starting with the 950P, uh, there's a few uh, different things about it, the, uh, uh, the microphones are on opposite sides on both of those. Uh, just where they, they plug into the, the head unit and the uh, channel selector or VFO is uh, on opposite sides as well so on the 950 your channel selector uh, is on the left and is just a small rotary control and uh, on the 980 uh, it's a much bigger control and it's on the uh, on the right hand side of the radio volume control wise um, each VFO has got its own separate volume control and the radios are twin speakers as well so you've got a speaker either side and incidentally both these cases are absolutely identical there is no difference on the actual case the head units are removable uh, I don't think you could interchange them because say there are different radios but um, that they would definitely fit but whether it'd work or not I don't know I don't dare try it so um, yeah the uh, that's say they're uh, removable heads you can use it remotely as well the heads can be used uh, uh, mounted somewhere else in a vehicle etc so uh, quite a handy little feature and also the um, the angle brackets are different as well so I've got a um, uh, a flat bracket as well so uh, these are on their, their angled mounts but you get uh, a selection of different uh, bits and pieces in the box when they uh, when they come but yeah volume control wise like I say they both got individual volume controls and on the 950 the outer control should we say or the uh, the smaller control uh, does your first uh, VFO or the left one or channels and then the, um, the the closer control so that one there does the uh, the volume on the on the second VFO on the 980 uh, top one does your uh, VFO 1 or VFO A rather and VFO B is on the the bottom volume control there and like I say, you'll notice there's uh, much more uh, in the way of buttons on the front of the 950 model. They've obviously done away with a few of the buttons on the um, on the later version. Uh, the big difference really, I suppose, is the um, uh, soft keys on the top of the UV980. So these are programmable. So I've set my A key uh, to change between high, medium and low power. And again, it depends which VFO you've selected as to which one that will um, behave on so it's on low power uh, my B I think does a scan so I've uh, set it to uh, to scan on key B and then 
C I've set that to uh, mute so if you only want to use it in single VFO mode you can uh, you can mute it but like I say these are uh, programmable within the software so uh, that's just my personal preference you can program them however you like whereas on the uh, the 950 everything was pretty much done either on the front of the radio or mirrored on the um, uh, on, on the microphones themselves. Both the microphones are absolutely identical. They're speaker mics, so uh, speakers in the back there and uh, you've got a uh, volume control on the top for the uh, the microphones. A few slight differences then. If we transmit on the 950p, um, we'll put a quick test call out. Mic 7, Foxtrot, Romeo, Sierra test only. Uh, you'll notice that when we transmit, the it's a bit difficult to see with this camera, but the uh, the blue backlit display goes to white, uh, and then when we receive, it'll uh, it'll go green. There you go. So you see it was uh, receiving green there. Um, for whatever reason, they chose not to do that on the uh, 980 version. Um, so if I transmit on the 980 M7 FRS test. Uh, you see you just get a, uh, a red LED, the white backlight stays the same and then uh, on receive you'll just get a, uh, a green LED. So um, yeah, a bit of a shame because I quite like that on the uh, the 950 version, it was uh, quite nice that the uh, the backlight would change. But yeah, like I said, I've looked into the, uh, the software and uh, there is no option for, uh, for changing the backlight. Uh, like I said, I've had this one quite a while now, and what I do notice with this is when it's been on for a while, or if it's been uh, in sunlight, um, or it starts to get warm, the LCD display starts to fade after after time. Uh, if you switch it off and let it cool down, it, uh, it all comes back to life again. But um, yeah, just a, uh, a little glitch I've noticed with the uh, 980 version. And like I say, looking at this one, the 950p, um, I would say that the display is actually slightly clearer. Um, it's a little bit easier to read than the uh, uh, the later version. A really nice feature about both of these radios, and unfortunately I can't use it because my license doesn't allow me to, is they'll uh, they both have the facility to do crossband repeating as well. So uh, you can use it, uh, like I say, as a, as a, a simple crossband repeater. Where, for, for example, you could set your two meter frequency as a receive frequency and then or an input frequency if you like and then 70 sems as your output um, or you can do two two way cross and repeating so uh, it does uh, it'll uh, receive and transmit on both um, and what you can also do in the box that they come with there's a, uh, a connecting lead and I don't know if it will work with two different models I'd imagine it probably would and again not something I have uh, the ability to try but um, potentially uh, if you've got the same model and like I say potentially with uh, with a different model as well uh, you can use these as a full repeater I'd imagine it would work uh, like I say the uh, the menus are absolutely identical on this so if we go into the menu then and I'll do it on the microphones themselves I'm going to press menu and then I'm going to scroll up you can see you've got uh, your step wide narrow your power set uh, offsets Roger bleep uh, you can turn the beep on and off uh, and all the menus are, uh, like I say, pretty much uh, exactly the same in uh, in both of those radios. So essentially the same, just uh, uh, upgraded uh, head units. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you that just while I had the opportunity to. Only a quick little video. If you've got any questions, stick them in the uh, comments down below. And uh, remember to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. 7-3.